Do you find yourself surrounded by the terms current tax and deferred tax in the workplace and feel like running away each time you hear it? If this is the case, I highly recommend the short course in Accounting for Tax in the financial statements offered by the tax faculty and accredited skills development provider. The course will cover the following modules, which I will guide and assist you with throughout the course. Module one is Accounting for Current Tax. In this module, we will cover some basic and fundamental principles that you need to know, as well as how to account, calculate and account for current tax in the financial statements. It will also cover the under or over provisions of tax arising from prior years. Module two is Accounting for Deferred Tax. In this module, we will cover the theory that relates to deferred tax, how to calculate deferred tax using the income statement and balance sheet approach, and it will also address the requirements that apply before a company may recognize a deferred tax asset, as well as how to account for assessed tax losses. Module three is the disclosure in the financial statements, and this module focuses on the disclosure requirements of IS-12 in the Statement of Financial Position, Statement of Profit or Loss and Other Comprehensive Income, as well as the notes to the financial statements relating to income tax expense and deferred tax. This module is concluded with a practical activity which covers module one through to three to provide you with a bigger picture of how they all fit together. Module four is a reconciling of SARS balances. In this module, we will focus on the reconciling the tax balance according to the SARS tax balance, according to the financial statements. You will also be provided with the information on how to account for penalties and interest, as well as what information is required when it comes to reconciling the balance according to SARS to that of the financial statements. The last module is module five, which is the accounting treatment of other taxes. In this module, we will focus on how to account for some other tax items that do not form part of the current tax and deferred tax calculation. And these include dividends tax, foreign tax credits, donations tax, VAT, as well as payroll taxes. This module also deals with the various financial ratios of a company. After successfully completing this course, you should demonstrate an understanding of how to calculate, reconcile and disclose current tax, deferred tax and tax payable or receivable, as well as the accounting treatment of other taxes such as dividends tax and so forth. I look forward to welcoming you to the course.